Uh, hi, this is Click View Tips and Tricks. My name is Josh. Good. Recently, had a colleague uh, show me how to uh, do a stack graph combined with a line graph, and it is a question I've had before, and I uh, wasn't quite sure how to do. But I thought uh, I'd share it with everybody else. So you can see here, I do have a stacked graph and I have a line graph. As you may be aware, if we create a new chart and we do select the uh, the, 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 the combo chart, we can add a dimension in, and then maybe say some sales and uh, maybe have budgets as well. So we have the sales as a, as, a, as a bar graph, we have the budget as a line graph, we hit finish, and we can have a really nice um, chart like that. Now may, we also have those dimension two, and maybe we want to split it up by dimension two. If I don't have the budget in here and I remove this, and then I add in dimension two, and I hit apply, you can see I do have the, the bars side by side, or alternatively I can go into the style and stack it. And that looks pretty good too. The problem comes is when I want to combine that with the line graph. So if I now go back and reactivate my budget, so I would now have it stacked with that, and I hit apply, you can see that it no longer is stacked. And actually I don't have the option to stack that in the style. So how do I solve that problem? Well, the trick to solving the problem is removing the second dimension from the dimensions tab and inserting it into the expressions. So what we're going to do is create four expressions, one for each member of the dimension, so A, B, C, and D, uh, that describe, the, um, uh, d describe that data, and then we'll be able to stack it. So we're going to add a new dimension, and it's going to be sum if dimension equals A, then we want the sales. And if we don't, uh, if we're not equal to dimension A, we just want to return null. So we'll just leave it blank and put our two uh, brackets in there. Our expression is OK. We'll throw that on our clipboard because we're going to reuse that. And then we're going to call this uh, group A. We'll now repeat that multiple times and go for B. And C. And D. We'll now do a little bit of organizing here. We'll make this into a bar, take away the line, make that into a bar, take away the line, and so forth. We no longer need the original sales that we did, so we can delete that. And then we'll move our budgets all the way down to the bottom. So now we have uh, four equations, and, th and then the fifth equation here is a line graph. So when we hit OK, you can see I now have a stack graph just like I was looking for, and I also have the line graph com combined. You can also see here I have my budget information and then my various groups. So that concludes our session today on Click View Tips and Tricks. Uh, please do go to community and uh, check out uh, what other uh, Click View users are doing, and also uh, do leverage our uh, professional services and partners who uh, also have many uh, things they can assist you with your Click View development. Thank you very much and have a good day.